Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Call of Juarez Gunslinger Part 4. We find ourselves in Mexico working for um, a certain family, can't actually remember the, their name, but this particular family wants to take out um, the Cowboys, which is a notorious gang of criminals. And right now I'm trying, and as you can see I failed, but um, I guess I'll have another go at taking down Old Man Clanton, who is the leader, apparently, of this gang. And he's Most got a Gatling gun. Thought it was the Ruales who had come up against him in Guadalupe Canyon, but it was just me. Oh. Okay. Not entirely sure what I need to do. Oh. Let's see if some dynamite does anything. It didn't. Wonder if, uh... Oh, okay. Can actually turn the Gatling gun. Oh, he's right there. Okay, that... Okay, this works out pretty well. I think. Apparently, one of the cowboys made it out of there alive. And told Ike and Billy Clanton that it wasn't a Mexican who took their father's life that day. They just assumed it was one of the Earps. And that little misunderstanding eventually led to that legendary gunfight at the old K Corral. Okay, nice. Hmm. Only one nugget. But um, at least I got one, so... Gunfight at the sawmill. True reason behind Silas's pursuit of the cowboys wasn't money, but for re revenge. You can shoot the diamond dynamite that you throw as well as your enemy's dynamite in the air. Okay. Sounds difficult, but perhaps useful. Alright. A few weeks after that dust up at the OK Corral, I was still after Johnny Ringo. Seven I months. I him and the cowboys to their hideout at a sawmill. And they were loaded for bear. Hmm. Okay. Okay, seven months after we took down their leader. Huh. So, what exactly did Johnny Ringo do to piss you off? Well, him and that other bastard. Roscoe Bob Bright? Yep. They both deserve to die, and I promise I'll tell you why. But first I need to tell you about the cowboy's new boss, Curly Bill Brocious. Herb's coming! Get ready, boys. Oh, they think I'm Herb. Or at least one of the Herbs. It's kind of nice that when you're reloading, if you actually aim your gun, but aren't finished, he'll still aim the gun instead of just reloading. Continue to reload. That's a nice took touch. The cowboys upon the old man's demise, and after that gunfight at the OK Corral, Clanton's wanted revenge. Oh. Headshot. Send him to hell. So they murdered Morgan Earp, 
and grievously wounded his older brother, Virgil. Doc went on what became known as the Vendetta Ride, hmm. hunting those outlaws down. So when I showed up, that's who they thought I was. Alright. Okay. Getting low on ammo for that rifle. Kinda like it though. to be dead just stick your head out and I'll make it happen oh don't like the looks of that a nugget is somewhere it's right up there in fact okay can I climb the tree I think I can whoop whoop Can't take the rifle though. There were killers around every corner, all wearing red bandanas. That's how the cowboys identified each other. And I was beginning to wish I had one myself. Okay, I'm being a horrible shot. I don't think it scores me on that, so might actually do just fine. Oh, oh, Jesus! But I wasn't about to let Ringo walk away unscathed, and that's what drove me forward. They say that Ringo was infernally fast. I hardly saw anyone faster, boy. Certainly not Wyatt Earp. That man was all hat and no cap. <laughs> okay. Ammo. Nice. Yeah. Earp wasn't much of a match for him, but Doc Holliday might have taken him. That longer should have kept his nose out of it. They never charged anyone for the murder of Morgan Earp. But everybody knew that Curly shot him in the back. That was common knowledge. Curly. Yeah, maybe so. But Ringo had nothing to do with it. He was just being loyal to a friend. Is that what you call it? Being loyal. Well, to get to that loyal friend, I had to pass by some buzz saws as big as a man. Okay, let's pass by some bus souls. Oh! Gonna cut you a new Oh! Excuse me, sir. I have a question. What's that, Dwight? After old man Clanton died, why didn't his son take over the cowboys? Because I Clanton was dumber than a box of rocks and a yellow belly to boot. Okay. Fair enough. More ammo. Great. Oh jeez. Let's um let's level up here. Um close quarters. Higher combos. 
be even more efficient when focused. Combo multiplier and concentration will stack by two levels instead of one every time you perform a successful kill. High combos mean more experience. Shell's dynamite capacity increased. Actually, I think might want to go into this one and pick the deep pockets for Ranger. More ammo capacity or larger ammo capacity for the rifle. Yeah, that's more like it. Get to the lumber yard and find Curly Bill. I shall attempt to do so. Now, where was I? Taking down the entire cowboy gang single-handed. Indeed I was, Jack. Dynamite. Though it wasn't easy as those boys had good cover. Just some minor experience points. From shooting the lantern. Okay, guess we won't be going that way. Oh, that wasn't a dude. some cover. some dynamite. <laughs> nice. Okay, that. Oh. Oh. Shielder. There were carts everywhere, piles of lumber, and God knows what else for people to hide behind. That really was one hell of a sawmill. Quite an impressive operation. to go down there okay fair enough and where was curly bill did you see him i'm about to get to that ben patience <laughs> i'm painting a picture here there was this beautiful waterfall and a crystal clear stream that led to a verdant valley that was truly consider your picture painted what happened <laughs> next well finally the bastards that were still alive made a last stand Okay, let's grab this. Johnny Ringo, John Peters Ringo, was born on the on the May 3rd, 1850, and in his life of violence, 32 years later, history remembers him as an outlaw and a gunfighter, who was associated with the Cowboys gang in his final years. Okay, a lot of these guys, I think, last time or in episode before that, I think we also found a card for Billy the Kid, and he... Oh! Okay. That was actually weapon selection. Okay. 
fair enough. Um, we saw that Billy the Kid was, I think, 20 or something when he was killed. I'm guessing a lot of these guys died very young. But um, also, I guess some some of them, like Ringo, had it coming. Okay, we are going the wrong way, I think. not. Now I'm going the wrong way. I was. Um, okay, so I do need to head this way. Um, okay, I guess there's... Ah, right here. Okay, this looks like fun. Curly Bill, Johnny Ringo, and his compadres took off into the lumber yard, and I followed after. Takes a shot. Before he takes a shot. Curly Bill, okay. Defeat. Are you Bill. saying they ran? Cowardice was not in Ringo nor Curly Bill's nature. No, sir. I never said they were running scared. They just wanted me out in the open. Time to dance with the devil! Okay. Okay. was actually him. Now where did he go? Revolver might be more suited. Or at least better suited. Just gave me no choice but to take his life. But Ringo was nowhere to be found. I knew you didn't kill Ringo, because he was found dead in a different location altogether. To this day, his killer is still unknown. Indeed. It took me a few months before I finally tracked his ass to West Turkey Creek Canyon. Ringo. Okay, another duel. That's great. That's incredible, sir. I always thought that Doc Holliday was the one that killed him.
Sorry I had to ruin the legend for you, boy. But the legend ain't always true. Doc Holliday had nothing to do with the death of Johnny Ringo. Nice. Another honorable kill. I'm pleased about that. Okay, it does actually score my accuracy. <laughs> great. That's great. Um, cool. Okay. Well, I um, guess we took them down. Um, but I think that's going to be it for this episode. Um, certainly loving the game so far. Um, it's got a nice feel to it, and the the actual shooting is pretty satisfying as well. Um, possibly because you get more points for scoring certain types of kills, stuff like that. So, I'm uh, kind of anxious to see where this leads us. But um, for now, that's going to be it. So, um, thank you for watching, and see you soon.